Hi people, so this is um one of the last three. I think I'm just gonna all try to get it all done today so that you know what the fuck is going on here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look man, it's not what it looks like. I wanna fucking kill you, Vega. We weren't doing anything, Alex. I was just trying to get her to sew her up and put some clothes on. Wrong. We're having a, a naked dance party. Fuck Valentina. If you choose, if you choose any a time to shut the hell up, now would be a good time to do so. Don't tell my wife to shut up. Yeah, Miguel, don't tell me to shut up. Alex gives me a deathly glare. Which obviously meant he was pissed at me and wanted me to shut up. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You brought my drunk wife, my drunk half-naked wife, to this room. The, you used to fuck sluts to serve her up. To sober her up. <sighs> uh, yeah. Uh, do you think I'm a freaking idiot, Vega? Oh, shit. What were you, wait, what were you planning to do with her? What What were your plans? What were, okay, whatever. What were your plans to do with her? Anyhow, where are you going, or, oh, where are you going to fuck her in here? No, amigo, I swear. Don't call me your fucking friend. <laughs> what? Jay pulls out his handgun and pointed it at Miguel's forehead. He was obviously angry. I don't think I ever seen him this angry before. His fists were tightly clenched. His face was tense and rabid. rabid. Um, but the th the thing that scared me most was his eyes. Oh my god, no! Alex's um usual emerald green eyes were now dark and mysterious. He looked like he was about to kill someone. Alex, what the hell? Stop your acting crazy. <laughs> I'm acting crazy? Why don't you tell me why the fuck you're half naked in another guy's room? Better yet, why don't you tell me why you're even in this fucking club? I told Fidel no. Where is Fidel, Valentina? Um, I might have drugged him. You drugged your bodyguard? <laughs> It wasn't just me. Cleo got the chloroform and Clarice stuffed him in the janitor's closet back at the studio. Damn it, Valentina, why would you do that? You could have been in danger. He was going to ruin my night. But it looks like you've already ruined it. <laughs> I don't care if I ruin your night. You shouldn't be. Well, you, you shouldn't have been here in the first place. I told Fidel you shouldn't come. You should have respected my decision. Fuck that and fuck you. You don't owe me, Alex Callahan. You're my wife, Valentina, that makes you mine. Like hell it does. And who fucking cares if I'm in Miguel's room half naked? It's not like he... It's not like I kiss him like you kiss Bianca. Well, that sobered me up real quick. <laughs> I was feeling angry and hurt and just like when I, just like when I saw Alex flip block with Bianca. And feeling angry and hurt can really kill a buzz, a person's buzz. I was hurt that Alex kissed another girl. And I was angry at myself for being so hurt. I mean, come on, Val. You don't even like Alex, right? I, I'm just going to wait outside. <laughs> Before Miguel could exit, Alex gripped his upper, with his upper arm and whispered in his ear. If I ever see you near my wife again, I'm going to kill you. And that's not a threat, Miguel. It's a promise. Val, <laughs> let me explain. Explain why you had your tongue shoved in some slut's mouth? Sure. I would love to hear what, hear what bullshit you have to say about it. That. <laughs> Bianca gets me, Val. And I only kissed her back because I needed her to tell me where the safe was. Do you honestly think I would believe that you kissed her back? That you kissed her because you had to get to the safe. 
Yes, now I do. Sometimes I have to do stuff like I don't want to do for my job. I got you. Got to learn to accept it. Mm. Um, what's in a stupid safe? Anywho, what's so important that you had to make up with some bitch for something that could help take down the Russians? What What does that mean? It's none of your concern, Valentina. Just accept the idea. What I had to do to get what I needed. So I have to accept you kissing a girl. You can't accept the situation with Miguel. Which, by the way, you're blowing way out of proportion. I'm not blowing anything out of proportion, Val. I wasn't, I wasn't pra practically naked. About to sleep with a guy I don't know. I didn't know. I wasn't going to sleep with him. Gosh, I'm not one of your dirty, one of your dirty sluts. Really, you're honestly going to... So you're not a slut when you're half naked, when you're partying half naked with the guy you barely know. Are you calling me a slut? I didn't mean. Uh, I don't really know what he said about me at the bar, but fuck that. Cut his ass off. I was a fool to ever trust you. I was a fool to think you would change. And I was a fool to think that we could be more than friends. You wanted more? You wanted to be more? Not anymore. I'll never make that mistake again. Now, I know you're a slutty, heartless bastard that will never change. Fine. I should have said that. Girl, you just be. Okay. To look at Alex Lyles when I call him a slutty, heartless bastard. <sighs> when I said I could never love a guy like him, broke my heart. Um, he first looked shocked. Then I saw a flash of heartache behind his gorgeous emerald green eyes. But lastly, the look that scared me most was hatred. He hated me now, and I felt that. I went too far and blamed him for everything, even though I was at fault, too. Gosh. The safe... Now, it isn't yours to take, Kelly. Um, maybe I wasn't clear enough. Alex takes out his handgun and fires a shot at the wall. You and this from Diego said, "My Diego, you like Diego. We don't like Miguel. Give me the safe, or I'll make sure the bullet hits." Oh, uh, sorry, I can't see what the hell I'm saying. Um, uh, my pleasure doing pleasure doing business with you boys. Say hi to your sister for me. Where's Alex? He's leaving right now, but Valentina, be careful with him. He's not in the best of moods. I'll be fine. It was a pleasure meeting you, yeah. Valentina. I hope we see each other again. And the pleasure was all mine, Diego. And I would love to see you again. What about me? Hell no. You're that twin I do, that I hate. Mm. That girl is something else. Yes, she is. What are we going to do about the safe, Miguel? It was the only leverage we had over the leader, the Russian leader, Nikolai. Don't worry, Diego. We'll get the safe back, and we'll get her back. It's been six months, Miguel. Do you think she's not dead, uh, Diego? She can't be. As long as we have faith, we'll find a way to get her back. I promise. Um, who are they talking about? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Alex did not drive back home in intense silence. His expression was so intense. He looked like a real mafia man. Is Fidel here? Why didn't you check for yourself? Wait, where are you going? Out. Alex sat down the safe on the coffee table and leaves the house. You almost give me a heart attack. Don't do that. Sorry. So, um, are you okay after we, you know, drugged me and stuffed me in the closet? Yeah, I'm really sorry about that video. It was a really bitchy thing to do. It's okay. I'm really sorry, Fidel. He puts his hand on my shoulder in a way, com comforting way. 
Um, and surprisingly, it does close with me. Don't worry about it, Valentina. It sort of reminded me of when my brother Raphael would comfort me. God, I miss my brother. I miss my family. And I've never been separated from my family this long. I don't know if it was because I was intoxicated or I had a horrible night with Alex, but thinking about my family and not being in not being near them got me really upset all of a sudden. Valentina, what's the matter? I I just miss my family. I never wanted this. I never wanted to marry a guy who hates me. I never wanted to be separated from my family. And I never wanted this horrible headache I'm going to have. I'm getting all of a sudden from drinking so many margaritas. I think you should go lie down, Valentina. You're obviously very stressed. I think you're right. But before I go to bed, will you tell me what's in the safe? Safe? What safe? I looks like a safe from the Vega Brothers today. What did they have inside? I don't... Bitch, I just... I don't know. He said something about having something to stop the Russians or something like that. He's very vague about it. What do you think it could be? In, what do you think could be inside? Beats me. Maybe you should ask Alex about it. I don't think Alex will talk to me about it or about anything. I'm gonna have such a terrible hangover tomorrow, aren't I? Probably. Yay me. Well, good night, Fidel. Good night, Valentina. I dragged myself to my bedroom and collapsed on the bed. I wonder what Alex is doing. I hope he's not with another girl. But after what I said to him, who could blame him? Uh, thoughts of Alex and my family cloud my brain as I jumped off to sleep. 3.46 a.m. Um, I feel the right side of the bed sink down as the smell of Alex cologne and brandy wraps around me. What? What? Alex? Silence. Alex, is that you? I reach out and uh, blindly grope around the bed trying to see if Alex is actually there. Suddenly my arm is grabbed and I'm on top of Alex straddling him. <laughs> His emerald green eyes shine brightly in the darkness, in the darkened room, staring intensely at me. It doesn't look like he's been with any girl, which is a relief. He stares at me for a few seconds and then slips. His lips slam into mine. It's not soft, it's not gentle, it's not sweet. Alex kisses me hard and passionately, like he's trying to consume me, like he's trying to own me. <laughs> I feel his kiss everywhere, from my from my toes all the way to my, the top of my head. I start to kiss Alex back slowly, but and soon I'm kissing him with the same intensity and passion he gave me. His tongue finds its way in my mouth and swirls around my own. It tastes like mint and brandy. It's delicious. <laughs> I run my hands down Alex's hard chest. And he groans in my mouth. Mature scene ahead. Bitch, what? <laughs> this was mature enough, girl. <laughs> I'm not going to go into excessive details since I've seen some stories get banned for describing sexual scenes. But it's still a mature scene, nonetheless. As it, I guess we're going to read it. You dirty thing. I like you. <laughs> Girl, you tried it. <laughs> Call me dirty. <laughs> I can feel Alex's large bulge with DC. He's hard for me. Can you feel how much you affect me? God, you make me crazy, my God. Alex flips us over without breaking our kiss, and suddenly he's on top of me. I moan as he starts to kiss his way down my jaw, neck, and chest. He lifts my shirt over my head. But pauses when he realizes I'm not wearing a bra. I start to feel self-conscious when Alex's gaze doesn't leave my bare chest. Shit, Val, you're so beautiful. 
He snaps out of his trance and starts kissing my neck at a, a feverish place. And, well, once again, uh, his hands make his way to, to my chest as uh, he squeezes one of my bare breasts. <laughs> Okay, uh, I gasped and moaned loudly, my whole body ignited from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, once more again, by your head and toes, bitch. Nobody's ever touched me there before, and it feels so good. My whole body feels like it's on fire, my heart is beating faster than it ever has before. His other hand begins to move lower and lower down my body, in, in between my legs, until he stops. As I'm on fire, Alex quickly gets off of me and slides off the bed. Fuck, what are we what are we doing, Val? What what? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Bitch, I was about to get get it fucking popping. What the fuck? What do you mean? <sighs> what the hell just happened? Two weeks later. That's beautiful girls. Just stay like that. That's it for today, ladies. Good work. That was so much fun. You really, uh, you did really good, Valentina. Cleo's right. You're natural like this. Oh, thanks, guys. What do you have planned for the rest of the day? I don't know. Pig out on some junk food and watch Vampire Diaries. Avoid Alex. Yeah. How about we go shopping? I'm down for that. How about you, Valentina? Sure, I would love to. I need to tell Fidel about the change of plans first, though. Is he still mad at us for drugging him and locking him in the closet? No, Fidel does a whole gorgeous. I don't think he's going to be too happy about going shopping with us. I think he'll be fine as long as we buy him food afterwards. Okay. Why do you need a bodyguard anyhow? Alex doesn't think I'm capable of keeping myself safe. Um, have you ever taken any self-defense classes? Nope, my parents would never let me. Maybe you should. That would prove Alex here not weak. Maybe Claire was right. <sighs> I knew that I wasn't the strongest person in the world, but being constantly reminded of how I wasn't capable, or I wasn't able to defend myself, was starting to affect me. Um, I'm relative. I'm a relatively independent girl. Still is. <laughs> I want to depend on myself. Um, I don't want to have a bodyguard with me 24-7 as a reminder of how weak I actually was. My weakness was, was starting to become very apparent to me. It was bugging me a lot. I'll think about it. I need to go change and pick up some stuff at the house real quick. Uh, so I'll meet you guys there. Oh, sorry. Fidel's waiting outside. I should let Fidel know that I finished. I don't know why that man doesn't like to watch us model. Probably because Alex will kill any guy who watched me model. Damn it, now I was thinking about Alex again. We've both been avoiding each other like the plague, and it's honestly starting to get to me. Alex and I still haven't talked about what happened at the club. And he has and he still hasn't told uh, me what's in that stupid safe. I'm trying to distract myself from all the drama with Alex, with modeling, but I still find myself thinking about him and getting upset. Things are so stressful right now. Should I wear? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Look at this bitch. As if my life couldn't get any more stressful. Can I help you? 
that skirt is hideous, Valentina. No, I have no idea why Natasha would hire you. You have no sense of fashion. For the past two weeks, Bianca hasn't left me alone. She's been insulting everything about me, my hair, my face, my modeling techniques. And I know she's only doing it out of jealousy. Bianca is acting like she's in high school and it's getting on my last nerves. What do you want, Bianca? Well, Bichanka. I don't know what game you're playing with Alex Giovanni, but when I find out, I'm going to end you. You're going to end me. Who are you? The Terminator? Who the hell is that? God, you never seen the Terminator? What did Alex see in you anyway? You saw a gorgeous girl with the phenomenal skills in the bedroom. Right, because being pretty and pretty, being pretty and good and good, what and good and okay, whatever. Being pretty and good sex, okay, could get you anywhere in life. Yep. Look. What goes on between Alex and I is our business. I'm his wife, so you have no right talking to me in this matter. So how about you leave me the hell alone, Bichanka, and stay away from my husband. I'm really not in the mood to deal with you today. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and tell Alex I'm looking forward to seeing him tonight. What the hell? Are, what the hell do you mean by tonight? All right, I'm not supposed to tell you. Whoops. Oh, what's that with Zoe Bianca tonight? Don't stress, Valentina. Don't stress. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Hey, let me think. Of, okay, has Bianca been giving you problems? I could have a word with her. Don't don't worry about me, but y'all got there's nothing she can nothing she can say can faze me. I'm just tired, that's all. Well, you know I'm always here if you need to talk to someone. Fidel put his hand on my shoulder in the comforting way. Over the past few weeks two weeks. Oh shit. Oh, wait a minute. Can I go back? Okay. Over the past two weeks, Fidel and I have got grown closer as friends. He's like a big brother to me, and it's nice to have someone to talk to. I know. Thank you. I just want to watch some Damon Salvatore on TV and imagine doing dirty things to him. Shit, Valentina, I don't want to hear that. Please. It's not like you don't fantasize about Elena. Hell yeah, I do Elena is sexy as fuck. So why do you get to fantasize about Elena, but I can't fantasize about Damon? Easy. You're married, and I'm not. Come on. Let's get you home so you can fantasize about your Damon. Shit, I forgot to tell Fidel about going shopping with Cleo and Clarice. Cleo's right. He's really, he isn't really going to be happy about shopping with us. But I might be able to convince him using a, uh, a tactic I would use to get money from my brother. Uh, well, actually, have I told you how wonderful and <laughs> of a body girl you are? What do you want, Valentina? What makes you think I want something? You always compliment me when you want something, so what do you want? Well, Clarice and, and Cleo invited me to the mall this afternoon. Please, today I can't go without you. I wish I could go without you, but you guys, are the ones that think I'm too weak. You are weak, Valentina. Very weak. Ouch. I knew that I wasn't the strongest person in the world, but being constantly reminded of how I wasn't able to defend myself was starting to get to me. I'm a relatively independent girl. I want to depend on myself. I don't want to have a bodyguard. Oh my God, okay, what the fuck? Shit, I'm about to keep bringing that same shit over and over again. Um, bye. I'll take you to the mall, but you're buying me lunch. It's a deal. Oh, and please, don't take so long at the mall. I honestly can't stand shopping. Yay, thank you, Fidel. You're welcome, Valentina.
Hmm. What the hell's going on here? Alex didn't tell you? Tell me what? Valentina. Layla. I'm shocked to actually have my sister Layla back in my arms. Um, I didn't, I haven't seen my baby sister in close to a month. And that's the longest I've ever been separated. Um, now that I think about it, I don't think we've ever been separated before. I miss, I, don't, I think I said I missed her or whatever. I said I missed you so much. I missed you more. What are you doing here? Ouch, don't you want us, uh, do you want us to leave now? <laughs> Happy. Come on, Val. You're gonna wrinkle my shirt. Shut up. Shut the fuck up and accept my affection, Ralphie. No, I hate that thick thing. That's why I keep on calling you it. Uh, how have you been, Melatina? Great. I started modeling. I'm having so much fun with Cleo and Clarice. Cleo? As in Cleo Armstrong? Yep. No, Raphael, don't even think about it. I didn't even say anything. I know that look, you're gonna, you're not gonna hook up with my friend. And before you ask, I'm not setting you up with her. Uh, don't give me that look. Cleo's one of the first junior friends I made all my life. My big girls only wanted to be friends with me because of, I'm the leader's daughter. Cleo and Clarice aren't trying to be friends with me because I am. Uh, a mafia princess. Um, they like me because I'm B. And you just ruined that. So keep your dick in your pants. Okay? Alright, jeez. Uh, tell me how Alex is treating you. Well, why did your face just change? Did something happen? Nothing happened. Did he touch you? The son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill her. Raffi, no, no, nothing happened, I swear. Are you sure? You don't have to lie, Valentina. You can tell me the truth. I'm not lying. Nothing happened between Alex and I. Raffi was giving me a, a disbelieving look, silently telling me that he didn't believe what I was saying. And knowing my brother, he wouldn't stop at nothing to figure out what was bothering me. It was something I loved the, and hated about him. So not that I want you, I don't want you here, but why are you guys here? We're having a mafia party. A, a party? The Callahans have arranged a gala. They invited all of the most powerful mob crime families, except for the Russians, of course. But wow, what's the purpose of this? I don't know, but I think the Callahans arranged to find some dirt on one of the families, and it'll be... It, it, it would, it would, it better not be the cat, the Giovannis. Isn't it dangerous to bring all of these powerful families into the one place so mafia families don't get along with each other? Yeah, it's a bad idea. The Kyle are stupid naturally, but that ain't my problem to deal with. I'm just going to keep quiet and eat some food and bang a maid. God, Ralphie, keep your sex life to yourself. What sex? Shit, we both forgot Layla was standing right next to us. Mama was still gonna kill us. The very bad word, you should never stay around Mama or Papa. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you say it around them, they'll drop dead. Maybe I should have said that. I avoided Raphael's <laughs> glare as Layla started to panic next to me. But you said the bad word, Valentina. Are Mama and Papa gonna die? Layla, Mom and Papa aren't gonna die, aren't gonna drop dead, okay? Valentina was just kidding. You promise? I promise, but you can never say that word, okay? Okay. I know, I know. I panicked. I'm sorry. Why don't you just stay around, Layla, Valentina? Yeah, I know. Mama's waiting in the kitchen for you, and wait, Mama's waiting for you in the kitchen. Mama's here. Everybody's here, Valentina. I'm going to flirt with one of the maids now. Don't ask that ass. 
But this shit is 30 minutes. This shit long as fuck. Mama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I miss you so much, Mama. Don't cry, baby. If you... Wait, don't cry, baby. You're gonna make me cry, too. And you only miss by cooking, not me. That's very true. Luckily for you, I assume that you were missing my traditional Italian cooking. Um, let's, so I made lasagna. Three cheese lasagna. Of course, static. Lasagna, you really do love me. It's almost ready. I'm going to check out. I'm going to go check on it real quick and then you both can eat. Both? You and Alex, silly. Oh, yeah. All right. Do you think you were going to eat all the food by yourself? Yes, I did. Do you have a problem with that? Nope, not at all. You guys are so cute. So awkward. Um, talk first. Um, so we gonna talk now or are you gonna let things get more awkward? Uh, what do you wanna talk about? Maybe the fact that we haven't resolved what happened at the club yet? Or maybe we should talk about what happened in our bedroom first? We were both drunk, we made a mistake, I'm sorry. Problem solved. Ouch. That hurt considering that was my first time I ever did anything like that with a guy. Alex obviously wasn't affected as out as affected as I was. Um, with what he did, we did. Fine, it was a mistake. Moving on to the club. Oh, you mean when I found you half naked on top of Miguel Vega? Uh, or you mean when you called me a heartless bastard that you could never love? Look, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, okay? I was drunk and mad, and I said that to hurt you, but I didn't mean it. And I'm only in Miguel's room because he was trying to sober me up. But you were the one. and Well, you were in the wrong too. I explained to you what I, why I did what I did, Valentina. It was part of my job. Your job doesn't make you the person uh, who tells me where I can and can't go. Your job doesn't require you to make out with girls um, to get what you need. Your job doesn't require you to keep secrets from me. Valentina, I can't tell you what's in the safe. There you go again. You treat me as if I'm some sort of clueless, weak girl who can't do anything. I know I'm not the not strong as you and Fidela by a long shot. But that doesn't mean I'm not smart. I think it's about time you started treating me with respect, Alex. If this merch is going to work out, I need you to stop commanding me around like I'm one of your soldiers. Stop keeping secrets from me and stop flirting with and kissing other girls. I always thought that mafia women were supposed to be submissive and always obey their husband. <laughs> obey, bitch. But for you, I'll change. I'll respect you more. But I can never catch you half naked in another with another man. I will kill him. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. So what's in the say? Let's go to the gala and pretend like nothing happened between us. Once everybody leaves, I'll tell you. Okay. The food is ready. She be getting a fuck. Oh, man. God, I missed that girl. Me too. Me too. Alex and I didn't entirely solve all our problems but we came to a compromise which is good enough but my mind was still pondering about what happened with Alex and I in the bedroom it seemed like he's got already forgotten so I guess I should forget about it too god damn bruh this shit long as fuck man uh, whoever recommended me to read this, I hate you. Legit. <laughs> this shit is so fucking long and these ugly ass fucking characters. Oh my god. I hate you guys. How many times do I have to stop? Uh, how many times do I have to tell you? Stop calling me. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. 
You and I both know it's a load of bullshit, baby. You still love me. No, I don't. Leave me alone, Jay, please. Sooner or later, I'm going to find where you are. And after I kill your slut of a sister, I'll reclaim what's mine. I was never yours, Jay. You are mine. You'll always be mine. Never forget that, uh, Rosalind. Rosalind. Um, I'll find you, Rosalind, and don't think I won't. Stop calling me, Jay. I mean that. What am I gonna do? What the hell is wrong with you? It's like the third time you snuck up on me. Are you some type of ninja? I'm sorry I saw you crying and well. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Is it about your ex boyfriend, Jay? How do you know about Jay? Did Valentina tell you about him? No. Miss Callahan makes me innocent to all the calls made in this house, so you heard my call. Oh, look, Rosalind, if you're in trouble, I'm not in trouble. Sorry for yelling. I can handle Jay, I promise. He's an ex that just won't leave me alone. Sounds more serious than that, Rosalind. It's not that serious. Um, uh, he just won't take no part of the answer. I guess uh underestimated my beauty, huh? Oh, he looks so handsome when he's uh, when he laughed. What the hell am I thinking? Still thought of it, Rosalind. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, look, you may not agree with me on this, but maybe you should tell your parents about your ex boyfriend harassing you. They might be able to stop. Are you crazy? I can't do that. Why not? Because our parents don't even know I dated him. If they found out I dated an outsider, then I'll help you. What? Why? Why not? This is my problem, not yours. Besides, I've been nothing but rude to you. Oh, let's have a clean slate. A clean slate? Yeah. Let's forget everything we've ever said or done to each other. And let's pretend we're meeting for the first time right now. Fidel, I don't think sh we don't know each other. <laughs> Remember, hi, I'm Fidel Winsell. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Rosalind Giabati. It's nice to meet you. Rosalind, before we continue our conversation, I have to tell you something. What? What is it? I work for the Irish Mafia. Oh, Fidel. I know, I know. It's shocking, right? Fidel, I have a secret too. What is it? I'm the daughter of Riccardo Giovanni, the leader of the Italian Mafia. Oh my god, how long have you been lying to me, Rosalind? Shut up, you've only known me for about for 30 seconds. Mm. So, um, so, well, now you, what? So, now will you admit you need help and let me help? Yes, please. Now, was that so hard? I guess not. Oh my fucking god, bro. Am I interrupting something? I'm gonna go. What's going on with you and Fidel? I thought you hated him. I don't hate him, Valentina. He's sweet. Anywho, how's life? Good, I guess. Has Alex been treating you right? I guess. Have you slept with him yet? No, and I don't plan on it in the near future. Why not? Men have needs. Would you prefer he, if he slept with other girls behind your back? No. Men like Alex don't wait for girls like us, little sister. Um, God knows I've learned that lesson. I don't feel like talking anymore. I'm going to go get ready for the gala. Oh, okay. Actually, I was going to go to the mall with a few of my friends. Do you want to come? I suppose it's not like I have anything better to do. Okay, great. Well, I can't believe she actually wants to go to mall with me. Are you coming or not? I don't have all day to, to wait for you, Valentina. I'm coming. Nigga, this is one... Look, bruh, this is fucking 40 minutes. Oh, my God. It took you long enough. Clarice had it the last minute. Mata than gig, so she couldn't come. Sorry, my family surprised. Came over and surprised. I don't know. Um, by the way, this is my older sister, Rosalind. I'll just wait here. I'm gonna try on the dresses. We alright? Yep. Um, you should come to the gala tonight. 
Gala. Yes, a fancy ass party. Alex Prairie are hosting. Mm, I'll think about it. Hmm. What's wrong with it? Just go try it on another dress. Okay, jeez. What do you think? Uh, purple is in your color. What do you think of it? Is this dress a bit too short? It's fine. Uh, let's go with the red twist. I'll go with the red one. Good. We'll pay for the dress and head back home. That's y'all guys. That damn sound is you guys on YouTube messaging me. Um, McAdams, honey. Levi McAdams. Uh, hey, beautiful. It's been a while since we spoke. Hey, Levi, what's up? Well, my photo shoot back in California finally ended, so, so you're heading to Mexico. I'm on the plane right now. Oh my god, finally great news. Why did you miss me, sweetheart? Eh, not really. Ouch. Oh, it looks like I have to turn my phone off now. I'll probably see you tomorrow. We can finally start modeling together. I can't wait. Of course you can't wait. See you later, beautiful. Bye. I love talking to Levi ass. But he's a bit too flirty. I wonder how Alex feel about me modeling. Ow. Levi, sorry, excuse me. Um, he's not gonna like it. I should go find Alex. You look beautiful, my girl. Oh my girl. Uh, so who's coming to this gallery? All the most influential mafia families, including. Including who? The Vegas. So that's what Bichanka was talking about. Bichanka. It's a nickname Cleo came up with. Um, what did Bianca say to you? She had to tell you she was looking forward to seeing you tonight. She must have been trying to scare you. I figured as much. Um, do you think the Vega brothers will try to take the safe back? Probably. It was the only leverage they had. Over Nikolai, the Russian boss. Why do they need leverage over him? Um, he has someone they love. What? Who is it? Um, I know. Oh wait, all I know is that her name is Sophia. Wait, then why did you take the safe? Because I needed more, and I could care less about Sophia. Don't give me that judgy look. You should. No, but no, I have no morals. Well, that bitch shit. Being, oh my fucking god, not a fucking mean wild bitch. So Callahan's have the safe now. Yes, Alex Callahan took it. Go Callahan. Um, took it from the Vega Brothers. I need you to get that safe back. If they found what's inside, it'll ruin everything we've planned. They would, um, they would know. You're working for me. I won't let them open it. Great. I'm pretty sure it's already been open, bitch. Have you found out anything about the Giovanni girl? No, she's quite useless. But does Alex Alexander Callahan care for her? I think he's starting to fall for her. This is good. When the time comes, we can use her against him. The stupid boy should have known. Love is for per is, is a great is a person's greatest weakness. What should I do with her now? Get close to her, become her friend, make sure she trusts you completely. In a few months, we'll implement our plan. She'll never know what hit her. And after you get rid of Valentina, I'll kill off all the Callahans and the Giovannis, and you'll become the most powerful mafia boss. Exactly. In a few months, you'll have uh, you'll get the revenge you've always wanted, and I'll get the power that uh, always belonged to me. And the name Giovanni and Callahan will be will cease to exist. So we get to thank fucking Jesus. Oh, thank fucking Jesus! Hell, that was forty fucking four minutes, y'all. I don't. Mm -mm. I gotta go to Blake for for an episode or two. I don't. I can't deal with this shit. That shit was too fucking long.